I've unleashed dangerous viruses on computers and antiviruses, and now it's time to put them up against every Windows. No more hesitation. Let's go ahead and get this video started. Windows XP versus Horror Edition. So I have every version of Windows here. We're gonna go ahead and open up Windows XP. That sound is absolutely legendary. Your computer might be at risk, okay. This is my Windows Security Center on Windows XP. My virus protection is not found, but we have the Windows XP Horror Edition, the Horror Destructive. So we're gonna right click, open. Installing Windows updates. Now, if you guys don't know what the Windows XP Horror Destructive is, in the first computer virus video, I downloaded the most dangerous computer viruses. It's the last virus in that video, which a lot of people haven't seen, not everybody has seen. So that's why I'm revisiting in this video. So you can see that it stops at 66 percent complete and then there is an error called 666.sys 666.sys so let's go ahead and click ok don't look behind you installing windows updates oh my god now that pisses me off man interesting nothing oh my i hate jump scares this is the windows xp horror edition or the horror destructive that's absolutely creepy. Dude, that's absolutely freaky, man. What? The? There's a bunch of skulls in the background. Something keeps popping up. There's don't open me dot text on the top right of the screen. Can't even highlight it, but let's click it. <laughs> Congratulations, you opened me. Do you want to play a game? Okay, then look behind you. Everything un misspelled, but oh my. Jesus Christ, game over. As if that's some sort of game. Totally not weird. I tried to click the recycling bin and it's glitching on me. Can you guys see that? What the hell? This is nothing. Oh yeah, this is the weird, creepy ARG. And now I wanted to mention, you're watching a computer virus right now. I know there's an animation playing, but I executed a .exe file, the Windows XP Horror Edition, and this ARG starts playing. And I'm saying ARG because I smell something funny. Something weird is happening in this video. Like this guy makes friends with this girl and I don't understand. If anybody sees any weird correlation, just let me know in the comment section down below because I like ARGs. I like puzzles. I love well-made creepy pasta virus viruses like this and we're back on to the home page oh my god so the start menu is called dead and if i click it it's 666 and these are the program files so if i click this one it disappears let's click this one it disappears what the hell i'm not going to turn off the computer what if i click 666 oh dude that's creepy i don't want to click it go to sleep. We're just getting this video started right now. Ladies and gentlemen, that was all for the Windows XP Horror Edition. Oh my god, I'm watching you. That's absolutely creepy. Now, if you enjoyed that virus, I want you guys to go ahead and hit the like button because we're about to go ahead and move on to Windows Vista so we can download another computer virus. Before we do that, we're going to go ahead and show the Windows XP virtual machine in the finder. Delete it. So now it's in the shadow realm forever. Windows Vista versus unnamed virus. So now we're going to pop open Windows Vista absolute banger. I liked Windows Vista. It wasn't so bad, but we're going to go ahead and click activate later. You can see that we have the virus over here, the unnamed virus number one. Shout out to Pancoza for creating this virus. So we're going to go ahead and right click and click run as administrator. I trust this program. It says this is malware. Run. Shout out to Pancoza. Are you sure it will overwrite the boot record and it contains flashing lights? Not for the epileptic. If you have epilepsy, get out of this video. This video and this series is not meant for you. Let's go ahead and click yes. What? 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 I've never seen Windows Vista be destructed like this. That's interesting. It's not destroying the right side of the screen, but it's giving us a CPU and memory usage. Look at that just slowly climb up. Oh dude, that's absolutely destructive. The longer you watch this video, the more destructive these computer viruses are going to get. Imagine lending your computer over to somebody and then you see your computer ends up like this. What if I click abort, abort, abort? I can't even abort it. Ignore, ignore, I can't, oh, okay. Got kind of a groove to it. Oh my goodness. These effects, the circle effect is a very common effect with the Pancoza viruses. Oh dear God. What do you do if your work computer ends up like this? What do you do if your main PC ends up like this. Oh my god, the circles haven't stopped. This 
Oh my god, you may be a victim of software counterfeiting. Abort. Abort. Retry. Ignore. Let's open up the start menu. Google Chrome on Windows Vista. You don't see that every day. MSN. Oh my goodness. Oh, the MEMS effect. The MEMS effect. Oh my goodness, RIP PC, there is no mercy. Oh dear lord, is this Ohio? Dude, this is insanity. WTF is happening. Oh my god. Everybody comment RIP PC in the comment section down below. Oh, oh. Oh my goodness, epilepsy warning in effect. Oh my god, look at this. My alarm on my phone just went off randomly for no reason. I did not have an alarm set for this time. What the hell? Yo, don't tell me my phone just got a computer virus. That's impossible. System overloaded. Oh my goodness. There is no mercy. Oh, dude, what do you do? I'm trying to open up Google Chrome and it's not really working right now. Apparently my PC is overloaded. Oh my God. And the name of the virus appears. Unnamed virus.exe file appears. Look at it only if you can handle it because it's pretty freaking bad with epilepsy. I don't even have epilepsy and I feel like I'm a drop down right now and shake. So this is crazy. Oh my god, Among Us. Comment Among Us. Oh dear lord. Bro, this is insane. This is what my computer looks like right now. Take a look. A PC, a screen. This is my computer. It's my MacBook running a Windows VM. It's, oh my god, Google open. YouTube.com. I typed in my channel. Everything just went black. What the hell? What the hell? Okay, so this chick just popped up on the screen. What? Okay, one sec. That's what my computer looks like right now. You guys think I'm capping. Let's try that again. What the hell? Oh, the computer is absolutely destroyed. Picture you press the power button on the computer. This is what you're gonna see every single time. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna take Windows Vista and show it in the finder so we could send it to the Shadow Realm and now it's gone forever. Windows 7 versus Infinite Blue. So we're gonna go ahead and pop open Windows 7. Now I really liked Windows 7. Let me know if you guys liked Windows 7 in the comment section. We have Windows 8 coming after Windows 7. I hated Windows 8. I can't wait to destroy Windows 8 with a computer virus. So stick around for the part of the video where I destroy Windows 8 with Windows 8 Horror Destructive. It's gonna be a banger. So we're gonna sign in. Plain and simple, we have the infinite blue virus. We're gonna right click, run as administrator. Do you wanna allow the following program from an unknown publisher to make changes to this computer? Infiniteblue.exe, yes. Oh my goodness. Infinite blue is going to destroy your PC without even an elevation. I don't even know what that means and I never knew what that meant. Do you want to continue? Warning, this malware only works on Windows 7. Well, guess what Windows version we are on right now? We are on Windows 7. We're gonna personalize the background so it looks more like Windows 7 now. And we're gonna go ahead and click yes. Oh my god! I've seen the infinite blue virus executed on Windows 10 and Windows 11 and I've never seen it fully executed on Windows 7. Oh my god! Look at the logo! Oh dude, this is pure destruction. Oh, this is crazy. Let's open up Google Chrome. Oh my god, I tried to open up Google Chrome and look what happened. YouTube.com slash crypto NWO. Oh my god, okay, my, my channel open. Clicking my most recent dark web mystery box. Don't play an ad. Stop playing ads. Stop with the ads! Oh, BMO ad is being destroyed right now by the computer virus. And here's my video versus the infinite blue virus on Windows 7. That's a mouthful. Oh my god. And there's a reason why they call it the infinite blue virus because when this virus destroys the computer, the Windows update lasts forever. Infinite. I have a short video on my channel where I'm going to link in the description of this video where it is the eternal blue. Eternal blue screen of death. The update is happening. This update right here. It's a smiley face instead of a sad face. This update doesn't stop at 25%. It doesn't stop at 100. It doesn't stop at 1000. It doesn't stop at 10,000. It is infinite blue. This computer virus will destroy your computer. Make sure you stay wary of these computer viruses. This is why I'm doing it in this video. I'm doing it so you guys don't have to try this at home. Don't try it at home because if you try this at home, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble. You can get arrested. Even if you feel like you're doing it properly, you can get in a lot of trouble when operating these computer viruses. Like you can see right now, I'm at 340% complete. The short video that I uploaded on my channel, go check it out. It goes past 2000. It's insane. If you call a support person, give them this this info, oh my goodness, oh that's crazy. The smiley face is not normal. So I'm not gonna send the virtual machine to the Shadow Realm. I want you guys to stick around till the end of the video to see how far it is complete. Cause right now it's at 600% complete. By the end of the video, I'm assuming it's gonna be 3,500% complete. I want you guys to make your prediction in the comment section down below. Don't check the end of the video, you, you cheaters. Windows 8 versus Horror Destructive. But while that's doing its thing right there, we're gonna go ahead and open up the Windows 8 on my MacBook so we can download yet another computer 
virus. Not only any computer virus, we're gonna be downloading the Windows 8 Horror Destructive. And this computer virus is gonna absolutely obliterate Windows 8. If you don't remember what Windows 8 is, click the start menu, this happens. Microsoft, thank you for getting rid of it, but curse you for bringing it in the first place. I'm excited to destroy it with a computer virus. You have to click desktop to bring you back to the desktop. But let's go ahead and close out of it and let's go ahead and open up the Windows 8 Horror Destructive 1.0. Run as administrator. Do you wanna allow the following program from an unknown publisher to make changes to this computer? Windows 8 Horror Destructive 1.0. Is anything gonna happen? Do you wanna install Windows 8 Horror Edition? It will delete all your data. Let's go ahead and click yes. Did it even do anything? Oh my god! Oh my goodness! This is the computer right now! It was Windows 8 and now it's Windows 8 Horror Edition. Oh my god, the sound! If I click my PC, error, PC not found. Microsoft Horror Explorer. Your PC is not connected to the horror net? So there's an internet on here. Wait, am I connected to the internet? I'm unfortunately connected to the internet right now. That's not good. Let's disconnect. Horror Defender Antivirus. Oh, it found a virus on my computer. Horror.dll. Press OK to delete it. Why wouldn't I want to delete the virus? Let's press OK. Can't delete horror.dll. This file is used by Windows. OK. So I can't do anything about it. What if I click run? Who are you running from? Oh, bro, I hate that. Don't be so silly. Oh, dude, that's creepy. So there is only two more buttons left. There's shut down and destroy PC. I'm scared if I press shut down, it's going to shut down the computer forever. I'm just going to go ahead and click destroy PC so we can move on to the next computer virus. Your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart. We're just collecting some error info and then we'll restart it for you. 40% complete, 60% complete. Look, there's the sad face. It was a happy face. And now it's there. It's done. Now, oh my God, what? Your PC ran into a problem that it couldn't handle. And now it needs to restart. Okay, so the computer is absolutely bamboozled by the Windows 8 Horror Edition. I feel a lot better for destroying Windows 8. Windows 10 versus unnamed virus number two. You can see that Windows 7 is still updating and I'm going to give you guys the number by the end of the video. So stick around for that. There's Windows 8 and then Windows 10. There's no Windows 9. It's weird. Windows didn't release a Windows 9. And I don't know why. If you know why, let me know in the comment section, but we're going to go ahead and open up Windows 10. We have the unnamed virus number two from Pancoso over here. We're going to go ahead and click run as administrator. I don't think the app is okay to run, but let's run it anyways. Do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Unnamed viruses versus Windows 10. Yes. This is malware run. Yes. Are you sure it will overwrite the boot record and contains flashing lights? Not for the epilepsy. Yes. Like I said, epilepsy warning in effect the entire video, the entire time. You are not authorized to install the software. Oh, hello. Hello. That's cool. My phone froze. My phone froze. I don't know what I just did. I might have just... Oh, there we go. And we're back. Oh my god. That scared the life out of me. Is that even considered a computer anymore? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. What do you do if you lend your computer to a friend and your computer is given back to you, you power it on and it looks like this? I would be so pissed off at my friend. Oh my God. What's heat? What does heat mean? Why is there heat? Oh my God, the, the virus is absolutely obliterating my computer. Microsoft Edge, not connected to the internet. Launch game. What? Start surfing. What is this? What is this? What game? What the hell is this? Is this real? Turn on Windows Firewall and I just died in the game. Somebody tell me how to play this game. I'll be very, very, very appreciative for that. Surf again. Okay, I hate this game. This is not like the Chrome game, the dinosaur game. Oh dear God, that's insane. Like I said, I don't even have epilepsy, but this is making me trip out. This is pure destruction, dude. I don't even know how this is possible. Hi, sorry for interrupting the video. I just want to quickly tell you right now that this video you're watching is not sponsored by anybody. It's quite rare for a YouTuber to not be sponsored, but if you guys want to support this channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, Crypto NWO, or go ahead and follow me on Patreon, patreon.com slash crypto NWO. That's all I wanted to tell you. Let's go ahead and get back to the video. Oh, that's so sick. The name of the virus is appearing on the screen. The mouse is going crazy right now. Shout out to Pancoza for creating this virus. My goodness. There's a blur. Okay, okay, okay. So you guys see all black, right? This is what my computer looks like right now. I can move my mouse. Oh, this is insane. What the hell do I do? My mouse is going crazy. My, my screen is all black. Your device ran into a problem and needs to restart. We're just collecting some error info and then we'll restart it for you. 61% complete, 81% complete, and then 100% complete. And then it's gonna tell me that my computer, oh my God, oh my God, what the hell? 
hell? <laughs> so this is what my computer looks like right now. This is the second time I've seen this type of art. So I shut down the virtual machine. I'm gonna open it again. It's been absolutely obliterated by this anime character. Windows 11 versus unnamed virus number three. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up the last instance of Windows 11 so we can download the last computer virus. And also, like I said, stick around till the end of the video to see if your prediction is accurate on what percentage Windows 7 is going to be for its update. I guessed 3,500%. I wanna see if your prediction is gonna be accurate. Oh my God, what the hell? Why are the Christmas trees popping up every time I open up Windows 11? The Christmas trees popped up from viruses versus antiviruses. Go ahead and check out the video on the top right of the screen if you haven't seen that video yet, it's a banger. It's why I'm making this video in the first place. So we have the last computer virus over here attached to Windows 11 and it's Pancosa versus Windows 11, like I said. We're gonna go ahead and hit run as administrator. Oh my goodness, Windows protected your PC. No problem, run anyway. Do you wanna allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Unnamed virus number three dot exe. I want you guys to give all the unnamed viruses in this video a name. And before we continue into the virus, like I said, if you made it this far into the video, go ahead and hit the like button, smash the like button. Guys, let's get this video to past 50K likes. So we're gonna go ahead and hit yes. Yes. This is malware. Run. Yes. Are you sure? It will overwrite the boot record and it contains flashing lights, not for the epileptic. Epilepsy warning in effect. Yes. Is anything going to happen? Windows security, turn on virus protection. Oh dear lord. Look at, look at the apps. Look at Poppy from Poppy's Playtime. Oh my god. Yo, do you see those images flashing up? What is that? This is insanity, dude. So if you download a computer virus on your computer, you can't even customize your computer anymore. Like, look, I'm trying to click personalize, and this is what it looks like. This is insane. We're gonna open up Windows, Microsoft Edge. This is what my computer looks like right now, dude. I don't even know how to use this. This is not normal. The beat slaps, though. Oh, dear God. So the computer is frozen right now. Oh, what? Personalize your web experience. What the hell? I can't click anything. You know what's funny? I can't click anything. You can't click anything. If I click this. Oh my God, oh my God, look at the malware. All the malware on the computer that I have. Eternal Blue, shout out to Cappy. Oh dude, this is absolutely insane. These computer viruses, like I said, they have gotten pretty freaking destructive the further we got into this video. Which one was your favorite computer virus? Oh my God, this is insane. Oh dear Lord, oh no. Like I said, shout out to Pancosa for creating these computer viruses because this is absolute art in my opinion. Look what it's doing to the background. This is my computer. This is what it looks like right now. Oh, this is insanity. Oh my God. RIP PC. Everybody in the comment section, RIP PC. This PC has went to Ohio and back fam. Comment RIP PC in the comment section. If you're watching this as a premiere, you should have a live chat in front of you. I want you to obliterate the live chat with RIP PC. If you don't have a live chat underneath, that means you probably haven't subscribed. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get me to a million subs, guys. And oh my goodness, there it is. Your device ran into a problem and needs to restart. We're just collecting some error info and then we'll restart it for you. 42% complete. 62 2% complete, 82% complete, 100% complete. There it is. It's gonna tell me that there's no operating system installed in this virtual machine right there. So I'm wrong, you're probably wrong. We're at 9,500 and 9,615%. If you call a support person, give them this info. We're nearly at 10,000%. Well, ladies and gentlemen, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Put on the notification bell to be notified the next time I upload a video like this on the channel and smash that like button. Actually, if you click the video that just appeared on the top right of the screen, I know you're gonna enjoy this video because I hand selected this video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much. Love ya.